dragons it's Alyssa. welcome back to my channel and today i'm just going to chat about some books that i have or some other things that i have on my christmas wish list that i gave to megs and my friends and family they are not anything that i'm asking from you um honestly i needed some content and i didn't read anything recently so i don't have any books to review so this is just me kind of dreaming and plotting so I have it on my phone let's get to some of these I'm gonna start with books because this is a book channel the other things I have on here are some makeup and mugs because I love mugs I'm not expecting everything on this list I'm just saying that now so the first book on my list is conceal don't feel it's one of the twisted tales like Disney's twisted tales um, by Jen Kalanita Kalanetta Kalan Kalanita it's posed as what if Elsa and Anna from Frozen never met I love Frozen so yes please I want to read this and I want it on my shelf with my other Twisted Tales series books. Also The Land of Roar by Ginny McLachlan. It's a middle grade, there's a dragon on the cover and anytime you show me a dragon I'm gonna want to read it. So this book I hope I'm pronouncing the title correctly, Tigana, Tigana, Tigania? by Guy Gabriel K. Please don't come at me for butchering any of that. Um, this author has been on my radar for a really, really long time. People just rave about their books and this book in particular really just stood out to me. And it just, it's a historical-ish political fantasy and that's just right up my alley. I love political fantasies and throw in any historical element or anything like that and I am on board. And this one uh, literally on Goodreads it has like almost 39,000 ratings and it's a 4.10 so yes please sign me up. The Lovely War by Julie Berry is a book that I've wanted on my shelves for a really long time. Well, not a really long time since it came out. It is, I think it takes place in World War One, and it's a love story and they, they can't really connect because of the war and it's beautiful and a lot of people told me that they cried while reading it so <sighs> I've got to brace myself for that but I for sure asked Mags for that for Christmas. And if she's not gonna give it to me, I'll just buy it myself, cause treat yourself. A book that I haven't heard anyone talk about that just everything about it just sounds like it's going to be a five star read for me is Nottingham by Nathan McCarrick. This is a Robin Hood book, it's a fantasy book, but on the cover it says no king, no rules, because it, King Richard is in the Crusades. So it just, um, chef's kiss. I really want this book under the tree. Also, because I'm super extra, I, and four copies of this book is not enough for me, apparently. I really, really want the hardcover of Ella Enchanted. <sighs> I've read that book so many times that two of my copies have fallen apart. And there's a reason why I have so many copies because they're sentimental so I'm not going to get rid of the ones that have lost pages and don't have covers anymore. So I think that having the hardcover is just one of those special things for me and it's something that as a kid we would have never been able to afford. So I just, I, I just want it. Spell Slinger by Sebastian de Castell. That is a book that, oh, that series, I've wanted to read it for a really long time. And I think the final book just came out or is coming out. And that's one of those series that I just wanna collect. I'm a book collector, so I know I could just go to the library to read some of these books. But I really want that series on my shelves. It's just something about it that really speaks to me. It's about a kid who, or not a kid, but I think he's like 15, 16. Um, he doesn't have powers. And he's in a world where there are powers. I'm pretty sure his whole family has powers and he doesn't. So how is he going to survive and be in this world and 
not be like everyone else. And I think that if you don't have powers, you're forced into other jobs. I could just be making up my own synopsis to this, but I know the main character, like there, no powers have shown up. He's not magical. Or he was magical and lost his magic. I can't remember, but there's magic involved. I want to read it. Apparently I'm getting really passionate about a book that I can't even remember the full synopsis for. <sighs> I'm a mess. World Without End by Ken Follett. It is a Ken Follett book that I don't own and I can't believe I don't own it. It is the second book or the sequel to Pillars of the Earth, which is one of my favorite books of this year. I just adored that book. I love it so much. I loved the mini series when it came out years ago. It's just a story that I just get really invested in and I really want to continue with the second one. And spoiler alert, I've watched the mini series for that one as well. Another book on this list is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, the Barnes and Noble edition. I have the first two in that edition with the black cover. So I just wanted to finish out my collection. I asked Megs for it for Christmas. And then of course, of course, of course, I asked for the illustrated version of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I basically told Megs that if it wasn't under the tree, then she was sleeping on the couch. <laughs> Just kidding, I told her that was like first priority for me. I'm never going to punish her for not getting a book for me. That's ridiculous. But I really want it. I have the other three. I want that one and I wanna keep collecting them as they come out. And everyone knows that I'm trying to reread the series. So I would like to reread the illustrated editions. And then some non-bookish related items that I asked for for Christmas are some mugs. And I'll put a picture here of the mugs that I asked for because they're so cute and I love mugs. I collect mugs. But these cat ones are just my spirit animal, I think. So they are perfect for the colors that we have for decorating our house. And we have a display shelf that we put like our favorite mugs out on. So I just, I want that for house reasons. And I just love mugs. I asked for a couple makeup items. The Gemini palette by Melt Cosmetics has been on my radar since it came out over a year ago. And I love the olive tones in this palette. They speak to my soul. I want it. The only reason why I haven't purchased it myself is I've heard that the eyeshadows are very, very touchy and like to shatter. So it's not something that I wanted to invest my money in. So I asked Megs to invest hers. Also, I'm obsessed with the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. I love purple tones. I love cranberry tones. It's one of my favorite palettes I've used in a really long time. The mattes are just incredible. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now. But the little palettes, the different nude little palettes, I want all three of them. I think the medium toned one is the one that speaks to my heart and soul the most because your girl loves a good cranberry eye and loves like a deep red. So I asked for those as well. And then there's a couple book sleeves that I've asked for. I got some last year for Christmas and I got some for Meg's last year for Christmas, but I want some that either have a zipper on the top or like the flap to help keep the top part of a book protected. So that's another thing that I asked for. I always ask for blankets. There's literally like every surface of our house has like a blanket on it. <laughs> like folded up or just out like I love blankets and cozy things so I've asked for some other mugs and like that sort of kind of thing chapstick like just the regular stuff again I'm not expecting everything on this list under the tree one or two three of these items would make me very happy one item will just matter a lot to me and or mean a lot to me I just love this holiday season. I focus more on the gift giving. Meg's has to really rein me in. 
every December because I want to buy everything for everyone. What is on your holiday wish lists? What kind of things that aren't bookish are you into? Do you, are you asking for Christmas? Do you want Santa to leave under the tree? Or if you don't celebrate Christmas and you celebrate a different holiday, what kind of things are you looking at? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, until next time, remember to be nice to yourself and be kind to others. Bye!